Hey, what's up guys? It's Kale here from How to Rip. Uh, just here to chat about the Chili Toucan model, which I've been riding for a little while now, as you can probably see by the wax job. I've actually had this board for about 18 months, which gives you an idea um, as to the longevity of the designs that Chili are actually putting out. This board has lasted um, all that time and I've certainly put it through the works. Uh, this particular model is a 58 by 19 and 38 by 2 and a quarter and it sits at about 26 litres in volume. I rode it with FCS2 fins and uh, that is pretty much it. I've got a small crease in it now and that's the only damage. I found that when I first got on the board, or when I first received the board, I was actually a little, little bit hesitant to ride it because I was um, nervous about the shape. Uh, the shape I thought was a little bit too fishy and um, I just thought it looked a little bit weird, um, sort of long, thicker nose and a thinner tail, which is not something I'm used to. So it took me about three months to actually build up the courage to switch boards. And uh, the first session that I had on it, I was like, you know, this board is actually pretty special. I felt like it was really light and whippy, um, but at the same time, I felt like it could hold itself in any sort of windy or choppy conditions, and at least up until about three to four foot of a surf. Um, I found that the tail was quite loose, but also at the same time it would hold through uh, cutbacks and other major maneuvers like that, but at the same time it was very willing to release um, on things like reverses and stuff like that. And of course it was also very good in the air as well. I felt with the rounded square tail, as you can see there, it offered a lot of um, flow throughout turns and also building speed. Um, but also at the same time I feel like perhaps it was a little bit uh, loose for any sort of um, bigger surf. So for instance if the surf got up to about four foot, even if I put in different fins I would find myself almost sliding out, having to sort of taper off bottom turns, maybe do like a double turn. Um, other than that it's, it's quite wide in the nose and it's quite a flat board so it does offer a lot of speed. Um, overall I found this board went really really well and I absolutely loved it and I've only now just changed onto a new board um, but I'm certainly keeping this as a backup. So I would highly recommend you get this board especially if you are in need of uh, a regular um, go-to board so a trusty uh, go-to board something that you can ride up to uh, around four foot, three to four foot surf goes absolutely fine. You can push the limits and go a little bit bigger, but make sure you put in some um, bigger fins or some stronger fins, a little bit more rate for, for instance, just to give you a little bit more hold. Um, but certainly if you're an everyday surfer, um, this board goes really well in terms of high performance and um, yeah, work out your volumes, get your volumes right and that way it won't be too difficult in terms of um, being too light or whatever. This is actually a very low volume for me, but I found the board went really well. The only trouble I had sometimes was um, actually paddling it. So um, because the volume was so low, I did have some trouble actually paddling after a little while. But uh, once you're on the wave, it was absolutely fantastic. So there you go. I would um, rate this board at least an eight or nine out of 10 in terms of performance. It was absolutely great and the uh, longevity of the board has been fantastic as well. So thank you very much Chili Surfboards for uh, getting me that one. Guys, don't forget, we're gonna be pumping out a bunch of reviews this year, so uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel um, and you'll be updated with those. Make sure you uh, comment below as well what products or boards you want us to test for you and give you feedback on. Thanks so much for tuning in.